Hello, and welcome to Dad Got This. This is a second part, maybe a third part, maybe a fourth part, I don't know when this part's coming out, of my Ninja Woodfire Grill series. Ninja was kind enough to send Dad one of their new outdoor electric smoking all-in-wonder magic machines, and I've been putting it through its paces. They also sent Dad this upside down. This, the flat top griddle accessory. And I can't think of a better thing to make with a flat top griddle than smash burgers. It is not dishwasher safe, just so you know that. Do not place the griddle on the grill grate, duh. Uh, remove, hand wash with warm water, perfect. This is a nice solid flat top replacement for the ribbed one that comes with the wood fire grill. So now I can make some pretty awesome smash burgers. And I'll argue with anyone in the comments that wants to, smash burgers are the best burgers. They just are. If you're making your burgers any other way, I'm sorry for you, you're making the wrong kind of burger. Smash burgers for the win. All right, let's prep up some toppings and all kinds of stuff and then head out to the outdoors, because this is an outdoor grill, and smash up some burgers. Yeah, let's do it. The good folks at Ninja sent Dad a wood fire grill to review. They have no input on any of these videos I make. The videos are 100% my opinion. They don't see them before they go up. I did get to keep the unit. Just wanted to be upfront about that. In Dad's opinion, the fixins for the burger are almost as important as the rest of the burger. We're gonna have a mix of some fresh and some sauteed items. Got that tomato there nice and rinsed off, and now we're gonna rinse off some mushrooms. Just slice the tomato. I like kind of thicker chunks. Throw them in the fridge to get them nice and chilled. Now we're gonna do some onions, but we're not gonna do raw onion. We are gonna do some sauteed onions, so we'll set these aside. Mushrooms. Chop them up, because we are also going to saute these. Throw a little oil in a pan, some butter, and now throw in your onions. Add some black pepper, a little bit of salt, and we are going to cook these on medium to medium high heat and let them caramelize. Adjust your temperature. Don't let it get too hot, because you will just burn them to a crisp. Kind of play with it and get it down to a lower level so that they could just sit there and simmer away for quite a while. Now we're going to go ahead and do some mushrooms. These are simple. Oil, butter, salt, pepper, and then stir until they kind of start releasing moisture and cook down and look like this. That only takes a couple minutes. When that's done, throw in some garlic, stir it up, and your mushrooms are done. I love a good burger sauce, and this one is super simple. It is one part ketchup, one part mayo. I am using some Kewpie Japanese mayo. That's why it looks a little weird. It just has a different taste to it. And then we are going to add pickle juice, some bread and butter pickle juice, and go ahead and mix this all up. Now, if your family's like mine and doesn't like anything spicy, stop there. If not, and you're making it for yourself, add a little sriracha to kick it up a notch. Mix it together. For the patties, we were gonna use 80-20, but they didn't have that, they had 75-25. A little bit extra fat, eh, a little bit extra flavor. We're gonna measure these out into two and a half ounce portions. And then we're just gonna roll them into a ball. It's a little different from making a meatball. A meatball, you have to be very careful and tender with it, don't compact it too hard. These you can just press into a nice tight ball because we are gonna smash the heck out of it. And that's it. Speaking of smashing, we are gonna use our Ninja wood fire grill and swap out the rib plate for the flat top griddle. Set it to grill and high. It'll tell you when to add the food. All right, it says to add the food. No oil needed, just plop your burger down. And I'm using a little bit of wax paper. This is a tip I found on Guga Foods. I'm so happy he gave me this tip because, wow, it makes it so much easier. 
And then I just have this big flat metal spatula that I use to go ahead and press it down with. A little bit of salt and pepper. And repeat. We'll season the other one up. And then we're just going to go ahead and let these cook for a couple minutes. Two to three minutes. And Dad realized that this is a non-stick item and I probably shouldn't be using a metal spatula. So I swapped it out to a plastic spatula. Nice little char on there. And now I just buttered my favorite Martin's potato rolls. And I'm going to stick them right there on the flat top to give them a little toast while the burgers cook. Good old American cheese. Pretty much the only cheese you ever need for a burger. And the flat top did a great job getting a nice little toast on the bun. Look at that. We are going to close the lid down and let these kind of cook and steam for about a minute and melt that cheese and get it nice and gooey. Look at how nicely like the non-stick of this thing is. Nothing is sticking to it. It is just coming right off no problem at all. It is time to assemble our burger. Put a nice little dollop of sauce on your bun. Put some tomatoes down. Try to get them to stay in place. A nice piece of lettuce. Those caramelized onions. Our mushrooms. And then I tried to sneak a pickle in under the bun, but it tried to escape, but I got it back in there. And this is our finished smash burger. That just looks amazing. All right, it is the uh, ultimate test. How's it taste? <laughs> oh man, it is like a combination of a Five Guys burger and a Shake Shack burger, because I'm using the potato roll, but I'm using the caramelized onions and the sauteed mushrooms and everything that I get when I go to Five Guys. Oh my God, this is a fantastic burger. The Ninja Woodfire Grill did perfect. Nice and hot. It doesn't even look, it doesn't even look like it was used. I should be able to like wipe this with a paper towel and be done for cleanup. Super easy. This makes making my smash burgers so much easier I very much like this. So far, I have uh, a plane flying behind me. If you would like to get yourself one of these Ninja Woodfire Grills or anything from Ninja, Dad's got some links down in the description. They are affiliate links, they help me out, they don't cost you anything, but it helps support this channel. And you can buy awesome Ninja stuff like the Woodfire Grill. So far, I have been thoroughly impressed with the Ninja Woodfire Grill. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it next. Maybe it'll be ribs, maybe it'll be something else. I don't know, but I'm excited. This thing's awesome so far. All right, I have a fantastic burger I need to finish, and uh, Dad may be very excited that this Ninja Woodfire Grill is totally working out the way he thought it would, but Dad doesn't do outros, so that's it. Bye.